Hello citizens of this world and or any other, and welcome to my first Mario 64 LP. And um, the reason a little, a few of you have been concerning, mostly just my friends at school, what you've been concerning is why am I not continuing my Wind Waker Let's Play? The reason being, I could not get it to work. It was, I think, way too HD for the computer to handle. So I thought I'd stick with something more primitive, primitively graphic, in other words. So yeah. Also, this is a great game, so yeah. Let's get started. We're not going to mess with his face this time. Maybe next episode. Because um, I want to save time. I wonder if the actor for this Peach is the same actor as the one in Smash. Because the one in Smash looks... So she must have been like a little bit younger when she did this. But I'm not sure. Post in the comments if you know. the hero. So I heard there's been a theory that this um, entire game is actually a movie because of the camera. And Mario is just an actor. Ciao! You've reached Princess Toad School's castle via warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Yeah, yeah. Obviously they had to explain every single little thing on every single little episode. They have to explain how to um, climb Pretty much every place there's um, a climbing section. Which is kind of annoying for a modern gamer going back to a game like this. Good afternoon, the Lucky Do Bros here, reporting live from just outside the Princess's Castle. Mario has just, arri has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing Bower Center. A seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can yep. It's kind of a clever way of um, telling the player how camera angles work, too. So, a lot of this game is clever in the way they do that, but some of it is just like telling you on a sign. Welcome, no one's home. Now scram! And don't come back. Wahaha! So, I think that was Bowser. And I feel like I have to address this. Um, if you hear any swishing in the background, that's just my brother. He's in the bath, so, and coughing, apparently. Big bomb on the summit. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. Go find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the banning world. First talk to the bob on buddy, he'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. Three times, yep. Um, B is kind of an odd choice for uh, choosing signs. Well, not really, actually. We're not really smack in the middle, we're kind of just on the sidelines, but whatever. This was a game me mechanic that was never even released in modern Mario games. Don't know why. Kinda would've been cool to see this. Smash? Yep, smash. The momentum gets so slow, but it eventually just, whenever it hits a wall, it just smashes. So, um, I don't know if I should go for the red stars or just go um, to the top of the mountain. I think we'll go to the top of the mountain this time and then um, go back to Bob on Battlefield. So that's the plan. This is one of my favorite stars, the Bob. Oh, crap. The uh, Chain Chomp one. Because they're so cool. What um, It like basically shows what the N64 could accomplish. And th this really interests, interests me because no matter what angle, it's the same exact um, image. And they uh, use that image or that sprite throughout the entire game. They use it on um, King, um, what's his name, King Bomb or whatever.
back one is a bit of a tedious one to pick up. And we can go in here and take a shortcut to the top of the mountain. It's not that far, so. I actually found, that, found out that secret the first time playing this game. And um, this guy's really easy. I feel like he was kind of a wasted boss. I'm the big bob on Lord of all blasting matter, kind of kabooms the world over. King of kabooms. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountain? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star, I hold you. You must prove yourself in a battle. Can you pick, uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious. It's basically saying, can you pick me up from behind and throw me? And if you throw him off the mountain, then that's considered cheating. Watch. If you throw him this way, or if you, uh, screw you. Just trying to get behind you. I'm just trying to get behind you. Come here. Mario's pretty freaking strong if he can hold a giant bomb. But if you throw him off this way, then he calls you a cheater. He says it's cheating. You must fight with honor. It is against the ro royal rules to throw the king of, out of the ring. See, uh, King Bomb has the same sprite as those uh, rolling balls. You cheater! You hypocrite! You cheater! But this is kind of a wasted boss because it's really freaking easy. All you need to do is throw on a few times. Is it just two or is it three? Yep, it's just two. Wha- what? Can it be that a, a pipsqueak like you has defused the, the bob bomb king? You might be as fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Me thinks I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like an old-fashioned term back in the N64 era. Me thinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as I promised Mario. I see you know my name. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. Yep. For now, farewell. He was kind of a wasted boss because um, he could have been really a lot cooler in um, in another world somewhere. I mean, another light painting. But whatever, I'm not complaining that much. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. I got that. So we're gonna go back into Bob on Battlefield and then maybe in the episode? I'm not sure though. I'm not sure how long this will take. I'm not actually gonna do the Cooper the Quick one, I'm gonna do um, the Red Star one. But for that, I'm gonna first go this, oh wait, no. I first have to talk to the, um, the bombs. But you know what would be cool if you actually, like, exploded King Bomb later in the game as a boss battle? I don't know. Well, this was the first 3D Mario game, so I'm not complaining. We're peace loving Bob Bombs, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. That's not how they talk. We'll prepare all the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use a control stick to aim, then press A to fire. If you're handy, you can grab on the trees and poles to land. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, get in there. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna aim this, like, here, I think? Nope, too low. Oh, well, that's convenient. There's a red coin right here, so I'm not wasting time on the video. 
Oh, don't slip. Okay, there we go. This game is really fluent to control. It's really nice. It's really hard to explain, too. It's actually probably better than the Mario games today. Some of them, at least. Like, it's hard to top 3D World, but they're pretty freaking good. 3D World had some good... Um, except for the Wii U. The Wii U is not really the best controller to play it on. Ah, I keep... One more try. Or is, do I have to use the cannon over here, maybe? I think I do. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think I do. Well, um, aim it really high because I don't want to miss. This red coin. I knew there was one up here. Just didn't know where. Now we could get this star, but I am gonna save that for a later video because I promised you guys I'd do the red coin, so I'm gonna keep that promise. I really like how it leads you to the exact place you need to be. Like even if you feel like you're in the in the wrong place, launching to the wrong place, you're still going the right way because it gives you two red coins. You're always going the right direction, and it's nice. It's nice to see that sometimes in a video game because I don't have that a lot these days. What's a game that you're always? Um, I saw a video by Brutal Moose on Freddy Fish. He said that's a game that you're always going in the right direction no matter what. Which is a bit too easy in my opinion. Oh, I completely missed there and I might get hit. Oh, I barely dodged that. I need one more red coin and... Yeah, I know where it is. It's up this slope. You gotta scale the mountain. And not get hit by giant balls. I didn't mean to ground pound, I meant to do this. How come the pink ones are nice and the black ones aren't? The bob ones. Woo! Alright, well I don't think we're gonna do another um, level on this. I'll save that for the next episode. So, wah! Anyway, this has been Super Mario 64, episode 1. Be sure to leave a like in the comments section below. I tip my...